What's up, Gunpla Modelers? This is Strider Prime, back from Comic Con, uh, the 2011 Comic Con that was held at the Jacob Javits Center in New York City. And I have to say, I have, uh, I think this is the best show I've, I have ever attended at Comic Con. And of course, my second time attending the uh, uh, Gump, uh, Bandai Gunpla World Cup tournament. Um, bringing my three Gundam kits that I've made and obviously I did not win however hats off to those who did win uh, specifically some of the most amazing kits I have ever seen built by one of the you know one of the greatest modelers I have um, met at the show thus far I know there are a few modelers out there who are also you know equally as greater uh, and they couldn't attend, but uh, I wish you guys were there. I would have loved to see, you know, you know, your your amazing kits and designs. Um, I have to say, I have to admit, I I understand. I'm I'm pretty good. I, I'm not really good. I'm pretty good at what I do. And even though uh, I did not win, I did take to heart that I I, I have a lot of work to do. I have been uh, I've been giving, I've been inspired by other things that I've seen at the show, so. This is, you know, further fuels my desire to making a better kit next time. I mean, the three kits that I've made were decent. Um, obviously, maybe I should have worked on some another kit more often than the other. And then, you know, uh, let me, how, how am I going to rephrase this? Even though I had a desire to make three kits and up to four kits, I know that if I would have invested a lot more time on one specific kit, I would have gotten a lot more better detail out of it. But regardless, you guys were amazing, great kits. Uh, it was nice speaking to to you know the people who watch my channels. Uh, um, I'm glad that uh, they they enjoy it. It's you know it's there for those for for those who like to watch and enjoy me building kits, giving them. Uh, hopefully, I inspire those who make some other kits that they are looking to get into. Well, others. Um, I was uh, I'm pretty I was pretty pleased that some people were discovered my channel and began building kits that didn't even know they existed uh, these Gundam kits so <laughs> thank you again um, I like to thank Bluefin for um, allowing me to compete at the show they were very very cordial very very nice um, the coolest people I've met so far uh, everybody at the show that I met um, was great so thanks again. Um, as you, see, as you can see, this guy is done. Um, I will revisit him again whenever I feel like it. Um, hopefully if I find specific parts, I can, can you know, complete it. But I wanted to show you guys the, the haul of all the stuff that I've collected at the show. Um, I will begin with some of the paraphernalia packages and things like that that I've picked up along the way. Um, this one, of course, is the... Comic Con guide, uh, which pretty much told you know showed off like all the cool stuff that the show that was going to be in, uh, the panels, the uh, screenings, all the cool things you uh, wanted to attend. Um, I only the only thing I attended was the State of uh, Mecca, which was based on basically everything in reference to uh, robots in, in Japan. Um, I did a video uh, recording of that, and I will release that sometime at the uh, end of this week. So stay tuned for that video. So I got this, which pretty much is over, but I'll look at it for the, you know, for the pictures. Along the way, I picked up a few things here and there. Now I'm surprised that there was not much that, m not much um, in the quantity of swags. I mean, obviously. I got a pen, which anybody can get these days. But the pamphlets and all the knickknacks I picked along the way was uh, very limited. So I got a pen here. I got a button here, and some sort of candy package and card from something called Johnny Cupcakes. I don't know what that is. Um, this one, Tayamashi Nation, which is uh, the figure uh, company. Um, they were showing off one of the coolest things I, <laughs> I like to see, and that was Godzilla. <clears throat> um, they were also showing um, Mecha Godzilla in, uh, in three unique dioramas in the show. I've recorded it in episode one, so I hope you guys enjoy looking at that. 
Um, they were showing off, of course, um, Gokuden and uh, Dragon and Vegeta. I didn't see. I didn't see Piccolo. Maybe it was there, and I wasn't paying attention. Didn't see Mega Man either. I did see a lot of this. Surprisingly, <clears throat> all these figures were roughly, I think, about the size of this packet. Very well detailed, I have to say, but very small. I was under the distinct impression they were like maybe, maybe bigger, somewhat. But it was interesting. Uh, I saw the the cool like um, I think these are Saint Seiya figures, which is pretty cool. So I got that little mat pamphlet, and I got a coupon for Axe. So there's an Axe dealer there type thing. Um, Xbox 360 temporary tattoos, um, Gears of War padding for my cell phone, plus pre-order Gears of War 3 at Walmart and receive a $20 e-gift card downloadable to multiplayer service. Uh, you know what? If anybody wants this, I'll give it to them. I'll give you the code if you're interested in it, because I'm not a very, I'm, I don't have an Xbox 360, so I'm sorry. Soft Kitty. Well, how that is. Recreator. Some sort of indie movie that I've never heard of before. Um, I got these from the Transformer Universe MMO uh, stage, which was uh, pretty good. Uh, showing off this new MMO game that's coming out next year. Definitely will like a look into this. Uh, I don't know who handed this to me, to me but I, you know, obviously you, you take things, be cordial and whatever. I wish I would have went to the Kevin Smith um, podcast or whatever uh, he, he's real cool to, to see oh, here's a Johnny Cupcakes oh Nickelodeon interesting and we get a little fan with a coupon of ten dollars and stay and play don't know what that is whatever. now Hasbro this one was kind of cool getting this and I should have went to the um, I, w I should have purchased something because people who purchase stuff from Hasbro in the Hasbro section Walked away with a huge body bag like bag that you can carry under your shoulder arm, and it was kind of funny to see that. But it, there, there was great bags, and I said, You know, it would be nice to get it, but I never bothered to pick it up, so eh, no big deal. Now, other stuff that I picked up at uh, Bluefin um, here Gun Plus Step Up Manual 375 millimeter build of the. Uh, RX-78, if I ever decide to buy one, I can, you know, I have the detailed information on how to build it, how to paint it, all the cool things. It's in English, so good reading materials here. I'll peruse that later on. Then we have the Gun, um, the Gun Plus series uh, guidebook based on the new series that's coming out, the Gundam Age series. Uh, they cover all the high-grade kits that's supposedly coming out. So very limited pages, but again, in English, pretty cool. Now, this Phoenix comic book, again, I'm not a big comic book fan, but they were given away, and there was a line where you can actually get a t-shirt, which I did get. I'll just have to do is let this guy, a couple, you know, a couple of guys sign it. I'll show you the t-shirt in a minute. And then, of course, this navigation book. This is kind of cool. I, it's, it's pretty much a better version of the magazine from last year, but it covers new stuff that just recently come out this past 12 months. So it's good to look at. It's not a complete catalog because obviously if this was going to be a complete catalog, it will show every Gundam model kit from 1979 or 1980 till now. <clears throat> so it's good to have anyway. Other things I picked up, I picked this cool bag. Very nice. Posters, they gave me a couple of posters of the Avengers. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. Um, I got very limited swag stuff. And let me show you the swags that I did get. Um, when I went to the Square Enix booth, there was a laptop that I had to, like, sign, you know, my name and, and my phone number. And a couple of hours after signing that, I received a text page to go to the Square Enix booth to uh, pick up an item picked up a, uh, a prize that I won. So I went there to see what, what was the whole, you know, the whole fuss about. And I got these two little items. First up, with this little guy, Square Enix member bag, 
this is actually a carrying case for your Nintendo DSi. This is kind of cool. Oh, I get it's kind of cool color. I do not have a Nintendo DSi, but it's something to look forward to if, say, for example, uh, there's a game on DSi that I want to get, and then I'll have to buy the DSi just so I can get it and then play it. Whether it's a, um, you know, a, a Resident Evil or Metal Gear Solid or Final Fantasy or maybe, hopefully, someday a Gundam game. Hopefully. And I'm, I know, you can get Gundam games on PSP uh, since they're region free, but I want to read it. I want it in English, so it's good to have this. Another one, this item, which made me laugh, is the Final Fantasy 14 on, uh, or online um, book, which is not a book. It's more like a notebook type thing where you can jot down information during your game play. Uh, it has this little map thing and a couple of pages of uh, information here and in the end there's some art stuff if you, as you can see but that's pretty much it um, this is actually a very nice book very nice binder book for those of who want to write down stuff this is good to have uh, obviously I'm not going to play the game but it's good to have this either way now going back to the Hasbro uh, section uh, I had to go online, uh, um, actually I did not have to go online, but there was a line forming which obviously something was giving away, so I was not sure why not. So I went on the line, and by the time I got there, and they, they snipped off a piece of my uh, tag, they gave me this. And I didn't understand it until I opened it up to see what it was, and it was the Creo, um, Creo toy line. And it has, of course, the exclusive, but not so exclusive, Optimus Prime. With the Matrix of Leadership image right there. So that's kind of cool to get one of these. I've seen the um, the Transformer boxes, um, you know, the toys at, from Creo at, the, um, at Walmart. Both the small, the big, the large. I'm not going to be, you know, planning to purchase those kits, but it's nice to get one of these. Now, along with um, the um, items that I showed you, I've also got a lot of t-shirts. First off, I went to the legendary panel um, section, uh, which was the company the, you know, that produced uh, Inception and Batman and uh, Dark Knight uh, ser uh, movies. And they were giving away this um, t-shirt called Paradise Lost. It's an extra large. This guy will fit me, but the next day, which I got this on Friday, when I went back on Saturday, they were giving, they gave the same shirt again, but I got it in triple, uh, double X. This one I'll give it to a friend of my, uh, to one of my cousins who needs to lose weight. So I'll have that there. Another t-shirt that I got was, uh, what the hell was that? Um, I don't know, this little thing, the bug on it. Uh, for those of you who went around the, con uh, the convention area, there was a section for the f uh, the five gum, the number five gum. If I don't know if you remember those, they they gave this away, so that was interesting to get one of this. Um, that comic book that I showed you, of, of the one called Phoenix, um, I got this uh, T-shirt. Let me show you. That has the Phoenix character on it. This is pretty nice, even though I'm not going to read that or anything like that. Uh, the next T-shirts that I got. Back uh, behind the um, the Bluefin distribution uh, line, the Rockstar was there promoting their uh, stuff, and obviously the one the big thing they were showing off was the tenth anniversary of Grand Theft Auto 3, which can be played on the iPad or tablet. Don't know if it can play on the Android, so don't don't quote me on that. I also had to stay there to watch the presentation of Max Payne 3, which. This is a cool t-shirt, and it was a cool game. So I'll definitely look into getting that game when it comes out next year. And then finally, the, the last t-shirt that I did pick up, which I had to wait until Sunday to get, was this. The Avengers t-shirt. Now, here's a cool thing about this t-shirt. For those of you who got it, if you look behind it, this one is in reference to the Hulk. If there was the red shirts that were giving away, it was obviously in reference to Iron Man. If it was the white shirts and the blue shirts, I guess it's for the other characters as well. So I got all this. 
Ah, that was a lot of stuff here. A lot of stuff. There's another item that I wanted to show you, which escapes my eye at this moment, but I don't see it. Oh yeah, here it is. I got this guy. This little cap called Paranormal Activity 3, based on the movie that's coming out soon. So there you have it. All these items ready, uh, I mean, readily available at the show that I was picking up. So this is pretty much the end of part one of my Comic-Con haul. Stay tuned for part two, where I show you the real meat and potatoes of the stuff that I picked up.